Sup YouTube of Visual Gaming Network and welcome to episode 6 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode I gave you guys a quick little running on threads and game loops, I'll explain what they are, and we got our methods ready. Now we are ready to initialize our threads or create them and uh, sort of start our game loop. Alright, so first what we want to do is, well because I might as well make these private considering we don't need well really we don't need them to be public because they're not going to be publicly used they're only going to be used in this class but because a uh, public void run is a method that uh, comes straight from the runnable interface it has to be public otherwise we get an error as you can see right so this is our start method where our thread will be initialized we will start our thread and we will, of course, set running equal to true. But first, we want to add a bit of security because let's say if running is already equal to true and the thread's already started, we don't want to start the whole thing all over again. We don't want to sort of restart the thread. I don't know what will happen. I haven't tried this myself. But yeah, just to add a bit of security, we're going to type if running, then return. Now, if you guys do not know what an if statement is, it pretty much means, let's say, if if 3 is less than 4, which it always will be, then it executes the code within these brackets. So it's pretty much a method. So we want to type if running return. Whoops, what's going on there? Oh, my bad. Okay. So, we can type if running is equal to true, but as a shortcut, you can just type if running. You can just put an exclamation mark, which means the opposite of what's going on in the if statement. Now, return means get out of this method. So, if it's running, then you just want to get out of this method and don't execute the code below. Now, of course, because it's our start method, we want to set running equal to true. true sorry. So, just type running is equal to true. Now, because we haven't initialized our thread, we've created, but we haven't initialized it. So we want to type thread is equal to new thread. Just, whoops. All right, and remember the sort of the brackets as the sort of object like we did here with our game object. Now we want to type this in there, and then you can also give your thread a name. I don't usually give my thread a name, but just because this is a tutorial, I'm just going to give it a name. Let's call it thread. Alright, then we want to start the thread. We can do this by simply typing thread.start. And now we want to go to our stop method. I want to type the opposite of what we did, so we can just really copy and paste it, but if running return, but we do the opposite, remember the exclamation, because if running is already false, we don't want to set it to false again and stop the thread again. Alright, so we want, of course want to set running is equal to false. And we want to type thread.join, which will pretty much stop the thread. And as you can see, we get an error, because this sort of code is called risky code. So, to handle risky code, you want to click surround with the try and catch. So, so what this is doing is, because this is risky code, it tries to execute the risky code, and then if something goes wrong, then an interruption, then an interrupted exception will be created. And of course, then it will just print what's wrong in the in the console. It will print what is wrong in the uh, console. And uh, if you see that little frame and updates thing, that's uh, just a little game I'm working on. It's not abandoned science. I'm sort of abandoning it, abandoning it from uh, now, for now, because it's kind of too big of a game for my first game, and I want to do something smaller. I'm still working with Daniel, by the way. You'll probably see that soon. So yeah. All right. So this is pretty much our stop method. Now, I want to create two methods. Oh God course they'll be called public void render and public void tick 
and of course render is pretty much rendering everything like the graphics it's if you don't know what rendering means it's pretty much displaying everything on the screen as you can see like our whole screen like your whole screen your computer screen everything that's all being rendered all right and uh, if pretty much what if you don't know what tick means it pretty much means update now you might be thinking who the hell would use tick as another word for update well the notch creator of minecraft uses tick so uh, some people like to use tick some people like to use update i don't know you can name it update if you want it's your choice but whenever we call our tick method then you have to make it update instead of tick so now we want to sort of create the first steps of our game loop we're going to type while running and because the public void run will only be executed once we, we, we want to keep the sort of game loop going by making a while running while is running equal to true loop so what a while loop is is uh, as long as the statement is true, it will keep executing the code in this forever and ever and ever until the statement is false. So while running is equal to true, we want to render and tick. Alright, that's going to wrap up this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to create a frames per second in uh, ticks or updates per second timer. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Ch stay tuned for more. Episode 7, I think. Yeah, we'll be out next week. Goodbye.